So we have a little bit of a problem with our sink. It's a little bit flooded. It's not draining as fast as we want it to be. So today we are going to fix that. Now there are a lot of items that you could purchase to fix this, but this step would be fast, quick, easy, and free. Taken out the drawer underneath so we can access the bottom. This is for the kitchen sink, but stick around. I'll show you just a little bit of tip for when you need to do it in your bathroom sink. There's just one little extra step that you have to do. But for now, let's stick with this. And we have our handy dandy flashlight. I've featured this before. I like this because it's a work light. Link down below. And you see this one. This is what is called a P-trap. So we need to understand this for a little bit. So this is your sink and this is called a P-trap. So a P-trap is shaped like that. And this part goes to the sewer. So whenever you're draining something here, it goes down here and goes to the sewer. The P-trap is there because it traps the water so that the smell doesn't go from the sewer back up to your sink. That is why sometimes if you don't use your sinks or even drains, after a while they get a little bit smelly. It's because the water has dried up and the smell from the sewer is coming out. So to solve that problem, all you need to do is add more water so that the water is back to its natural level. Anyway, this sometimes gets clogged with fat or with food we place down the drain and everything else. So all we do is remove this this part, which is this. So let me demonstrate. You need a bucket. Just unscrew this. Simple as that. The bucket is there for the water. Unscrew that, and this is going to be the yucky part. Oh, yuck. All these things have gunked up, and look at that, and there's like hair, and that's what we need to get rid of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've taken out the P-trap and now we have to do one extra step. We have to remove this because the pipe below this would be clogged with a lot of things most likely. So with this one, this little thing here can be taken out. I'm using this one. <laughs> Just twist it out. Uh, so we've taken it out and if you see, this one is... Taken out, taken out, and the pipe here below, look at that. Here, upstairs, love. <sighs> this, has, this has fallen down, but it's still in place. But look at all that gunk that has to be cleaned Ew, out. What is that? And that is the problem. So, to give you a better idea of how this whole thing works, this is the drain. Just in case everything is flooded here, it goes to here and goes to this thing here. And the rest is all the food that we have put down the drain unintentionally. So we'll have to clean all those things up. And after that, it would be okay now. <laughs> we've cleaned everything up. We've cleaned the thing down below, this one. And now it's time to attach it back together. Remember to install the gasket that comes along with it. And then it's just a matter of screwing it back in. Oh, you can actually use this. <laughs> All right. Putting this back inside. Simple as screwing it back in. Leave the bucket here before we start and then run the water and just, just check for leaks. Uh, after the water running for like five seconds and there's no leak, you're, you're good to go. Okay. So just to demonstrate, we are now ready and it's draining super fast now. Okay, as promised, we are in the sink area of the bathroom. This is a different problem naman because here in the sink, most likely it's hairs that get caught. Now this isn't clogged, but I'll show you how to go about it. It's fairly similar, just a little bit of a different step. 
if you come down with me if you notice it's the same p-trap so this is what you remove first you just remove it from here in these knobs but to remove the top portion this portion is a little bit different what you're going to do is this thing here so you take this out and there's like a ball and something of a locking mechanism and then you can pull this out from upstairs now. and now if this is clogged this would be full of hairs most likely and then you'll have to do that you can put a newspaper or some something here to help clean the whole pipe down of course you have your bucket underneath to gather all the dirt and stuff and then you can just put it back in just make sure what you need to do is get the rod back in to this little hole here when you're putting it back in yeah it's quick and easy you don't have to buy anything fancy it's just a matter of knowing your things around the plumbing lines down below and uh, I'll see you later.